Okay, today we're starting uh, module 13, which is our module on fractions. Describe equal parts of a whole. So we're going to talk about things being equal. Equal means the uh, what? Same. Okay, or congruent. In math, we use that word. I can identify, draw, and name equal parts of a whole that is divided in different ways. Spark your learning. Okay, we did this on already ready. You can see that you could divide things differently, right? Then Missy, Isha, and Zane make flags of the same size with four different colored sections. Which student divides their flags equally? Can we talk about that? Who divides their flags equally? Missy and Zane. Which students divide their flags into sections that are not equal? Isha and Shaq. Okay. Zane says his sections are equal in size to Missy's section. Is Missy section is the correct? Mm -hmm. So are these equal to this? No. Yes. No. No. Well, they don't really look equal, do they? But it's just because they're drawn a different way. If we perhaps cut these and made them fat, the Missy's flag and made them into fat pieces, they would probably, we could probably cover his flag with her stripes. Okay? So, is it, is the question is, um, is he correct? Is Zane correct? Okay? Yes, he is. So we're going to say that. Missy and Zane's fags are divided equally. Okay, so if I had cut those flags and colored them in construction paper and cut them apart, I could lay Missy's pieces on top of Zane's flag, right? And they would fill the same area. Okay? So that's how we can say that they are divided equally and that they would match each other. Okay? What about uh, Shin and Asia's flags? Are they divided equally? No, they are not. We can see that, can't we? We can see on Asia's flag that the red is a lot bigger than the blue and the green. And on Jin's, Zin's flag, I don't know how we're supposed to say that. Shen's okay. flag, thank you. The green is much bigger. Okay. All right, go to the next page. Seth compares the flags of different countries. Okay, so we have Colombia's flag, that's the yellow, blue, and red flag. We have France's flag, which is blue, white, and red. Indonesia's flag, which is just red and white. And then we have the Czech Republic, which is red, blue, and white. So the first question I ask you is, which flag shows a whole divided into equal parts? Whose flags show France and who else? France and Indonesia. I need you to go ahead and write those two countries in there. Don't write too big. Okay, so France and Indonesia. Now those are countries. So what do we do with the first letter of a country? We capitalize it. So be sure you do that. The second question B says, which flag show a whole divided into unequal parts? Who can share that with me? Give me what's one. What's the other one? Aiden, you know how to say that? Czech Republic. Okay, so we're on B, we're going to put into uh, Colombia and the Czech. So B is Colombia and the Czech Republic. And again, those are countries. <laughs> okay, so into how many equal or unequal parts is the flag of Indonesia divided? How many parts? Two equal parts. Well, we need to put two equal parts because we're talking about equal. Two equal parts. Two equal parts. 
Let's read our little yellow thing over there. So we come back to vocabulary. A whole is all of the parts that make up one shape or group. So our whole class is all 11 students, right? If all the parts of the whole are the same size, then the whole is divided into equal parts. D. Draw one flag with equal parts and one flag with unequal parts on the grid. Explain how you know that your flags have equal and unequal. So you're supposed to go up here, up here to the top, and draw me two flags. One with equal parts and one with unequal parts. Okay, so the first flag I drew is like some of us tried to do on our own. Uh, are you ready? And divided your flag with diagonal lines. And as you can see, A and B would be equal parts if we folded that together. And B and B would be equal, but if I cut A and B apart, they would not cover the same amount of surface. Okay, so some of you drew a flag like that. Some of you drew the American flag or a that certainly does not have all equal parts. Yeah. And some of you divided it into four parts. And then your unequal parts, like I said, the American flag, um, a flag that was long and they divided like the center into stripes and left the ends. So a flag, something more like this. with a big space in the middle, and then these parts divided. There was no right or wrong, it just had to be unequal spaces, so if your spaces aren't unequal. Yeah. Okay, so down here on the bottom it says, to do that and explain how you know that your flags have equal or unequal parts. Well, how do we know that? Because they, um, they don't have the same amount of space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Each section doesn't have the same amount of space or size. Can you write some explanation in there? I'm going to write that. I'm going to say each section. Oh, uh, you can. For unequal, each section is not the same size. Or equal, all sections are the same size. All right, I asked you to go on in working number two. We're done with the front. Does the 137th Street School hold a contest for a new flag design? The school wants the flags to be divided into equal parts. The name of the equal parts of a whole depends on the no total number of equal parts. Okay? Match the flag with the name of the total number of equal parts. Is equal important? Look how many times they say equal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this flag is divided, this first flag is divided into how many equal parts? Eight. eight. So it's going to be eight. If these parts were not equal, we couldn't say it was divided into eight. We can say it was divided into eight pieces, but it's not divided into eight equal parts. So what is the second flag? Third. And the third flag? Fourth. And the Fourth one is six. six. And the last one is half. Okay. Now, all I'm trying to understand is that a circle, a circle is divided into eight. How many equal parts? Then, now listen, number two. Is the square divided into thirds? Now, it's divided into three pieces, but is it, is it into thirds? No. Why not? Okay, so here are the answers to your check your understanding. Okay, let's talk about 
Most of us have done the on your own. So we're going to talk about it hard. Okay, here we go. It says write whether the shape is divided into equal parts or unequal. So number three, what did you all put? Okay. How about number four? Unequal. Now. What did y'all put on number five? Unequal. It is equal. Now wait, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. If we just look at this line, what did that divide the square into? Halves, right? Before they put in this line or this line. Okay. So it, would you agree that this? This right here yeah. is half. Yes. And that this right here is half. Yes. yes. So we have two halves. And we divided those halves into two equal pieces, correct? It is A equal to B. Yeah. It is C equal to D. Yeah. Yeah. They are each one fourth of the square, even though they are not the same shape when we divided. So they are equal. They are each one fourth. Okay. So that they look, their area looks different, but they are equal pieces. Okay. Now, I think we forgot, even Mrs. Stegman forgot to read the instructions for 6, 7, and 8. It says, write the name of the equal parts. So let's look at 6. How many parts are there in six. number 6? So that is 6. Or you can write it PHF like that. Well, I just put it to the yes. Well, that's not right. That's six. Okay, so that's supposed to be a T. For some reason, I can't talk. How about number seven? Now, some of you might have looked at that and thought, well, that's not equal parts because they divided it diagonally. But you can divide a square diagonally. You can't divide a rectangle. So how many parts are in number seven? Four. So it's divided into four. Four. Or four. You need to probably write it in words like this. Okay. Number eight is what? Not seconds. Halves. Yes. Halves. But I was so fast, right? The stem one, a biologist wants to measure how far bees travel from their hive to obtain nectar. How should the biologist divide this flower field into equal sections? And then it says label the sections to record where the bees visit. Explain how you would analyze this result. Now, there's different ways, but they need to be equal sections. So what they show me in the book is this. We're supposed to divide it into how many? Six? Because we have one through six. Now, if I were a great drawer, these would really all be equal, but we're going to pretend they are since I'm not a great drawer. Now, so that's what they show me in the book. You could divide it into six sections this way and label them all. Okay? So it said label the sections. Explain how you would analyze the results. So you might say something like, um, if a bee travels far from the hive, section 5 will show the most visits. If the bee stays close to the hive, section 2 will show. Okay, here's the hive, remember? So if he travels the furthest, he would be in section 5. If he travels to the closest, he would be in section 2. We're going to move on to our homework. 
Wait, what? 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 Wait,